eyeball is too. And welcome into another edition of the KSR Weekly Roundup. We are back after a week off because I got vaccinated last week and I told myself every time Kentucky has a good basketball week and I come in here and do one of these roundups, they go and they absolutely blow it. So I was like, you know what? We got to win the SEC tournament. It's March. We don't play with Jinx. So I didn't do it last week. And well, see where that got us. Now you all don't need me to rehash what happened in the game. We all know Kentucky lost by a possession, got down big. Dante Allen went crazy again. Uh, B.J. Boston, Devin Askew, Terrence Clark basically contributed nothing, but it was nice to see Terrence Clark get back on the floor. And basically it's just a matter of what's next for Kentucky basketball. You know, we, have, we've, we were frank on Friday on the radio show. We've had a weekend full of negativity. We watched great conference tournament basketball all weekend and we have the NCAA bracket out and we'll get into that later so let's just move on you know nine wins it happens let's give Callum Mulligan um, he does need to be held accountable this summer is going to be crucial for the direction of this basketball program but it is what it is it's over with and onwards and upwards so let's talk about the roster moves that have already happened so far, Devin Askew's father announced that he, or that Devin Askew was coming back to school for his sophomore season, and Cameron Fletcher, who only played in seven games this year and dealt with suspensions and then played random minutes uh, in the second half of the season, just a roller coaster of a year for Cameron Fletcher. He is unsurprisingly out the door and in the transfer portal. So we obviously have a massive offseason of who will stay, who will go. Who's to say B.J. Boston couldn't come back? Who's to say, you know, Dante Allen, I think he's going to come back, and we've got a roster full of people that legitimately have to make decisions. And we'll have all of that covered on KSR all offseason long. But for right now, let's, um, I mean, let's just, let's just forget this ever happened. But one thing we shouldn't forget about is the fact that in the first season that Kentucky Athletic Director Mitch Barnhart is chair of the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee. Louisville is on the bubble. They just needed one spot to get in, and they don't get into the NCAA Tournament. That's right. Mitch Barnhart and the NCAA Selection Committee left Louisville on the reserve list, so if something happens and a team gets COVID, like let's say if Rick Pitino sabotages a team, <clears throat> Louisville will be able to get into the NCAA tournament. Now, obviously, we hope that doesn't happen, not just because Louisville's our rival, but we don't want any team to catch COVID. We want this to be the best NCAA tournament possible, even without fans, because last year we didn't have it. But to me, I was coming in here worried. I was like, ah, oh, man, you know, we're not going to have content for the KSR Weekly Roundup for a while. The summer grind's about to hit. But lo and behold, Mitch Barnhart swoops in, saves the day, keeps Louisville out the tournament. Duke's at the tournament, they're not going to get in. Obviously, Kentucky's not in, so, you know, we can talk trash all we want to, but at the end of the day, they can do it to us, too, and that's fine. That's fine. We'll run it back next year, and everything will be back to normal. We'll have fans in the stands. We will have um, competitive basketball again, winning basketball at these great programs. Everything will be fine, but for now, this is just weird. And for the women's basketball team, their selection show is actually tonight. They are projected as a four seed going to the NCAA tournament. We will have their coverage down in San Antonio all throughout March. Zach Gagan will have you guys covered on an absolutely, what should be an absolutely phenomenal run for Ryan Howard and the women's basketball team. That should do it for a relatively short and sweet KSR Weekly Roundup. I mean, we all saw what happened Thursday. We know it's March Madness. Everybody go fill out your brackets. We'll be doing something with uh, the NCAA tournament over at KSR like we always do. Just sit back, enjoy one stress-free March Madness. We deserve it after a long year. I think it's going to be a wild March Madness. We've got some interesting matchups like LSU's an eight seed. Arkansas and Colgate is going to be an absolute track meet, I think. Rick Pitino and Iona going up against Nate Oates in Alabama is going to be a joy. And I hope you all have a blessed week. I hope you all have a great week. Time sprung forward. Days are getting longer. Flowers are blooming. We're all happy here. We're all happy in the bluegrass state. I hope you all have a great St. Patrick's Day. Celebrate accordingly. And let's go bet on some NCAA tournament basketball games. I'm Brent Wayne Scott. Have a great week, everybody.